everybody. It is excellent to be with you today. Um, welcome to this very, very, I must say, chilly morning. Um, it's completely clear this morning, completely and utterly. It's just a light fog on the ocean water. But because it's also clear, all the, all the warmth uh, it kind of moves and moves out. And your, it is frigid this morning. So it's also the best time of day to climb up and start uh, start a bit of momentum going so start with something that gets your mind sharp to start with something that gets you focused for the day to start with something that builds you from the inside out um, today or right now is a great time to climb up and start with something that builds you body mind and soul um, this is the perfect moment to to climb up and get the personal m momentum that you're always looking for so this is a squatting challenge, there will always be squatting challenge and really the challenge is doing one squat. If you can do one squat, you can do this challenge, right? The only kind of little terms and conditions down there is you have to do one squat every day, right? You take one rest out of a week, but every day you're squatting, right? Why? Because it builds discipline, it builds consistency, it builds up a habit, a routine, a discipline, it eventually becomes a lifestyle. Right, so make sure that every day you're doing something, make sure you're climbing on with something like squats and doing at least one squat. Make sure you're disciplining yourself to do something uh, that builds consistency in your life. So the thing that I'm doing is, is a squat, so feel free to join in as much as you would like. So we are at the Always Be Squatting Challenge day number 15 today. Uh, we're past the halfway point of the month. So keep up your momentum, we're at the peak of the month now. Now we just ride out our momentum and we keep pushing it for, for the end of the month. So remember the theme for June is the extra mile. Going the extra mile, what is the extra mile? How far is your extra mile? How far is my extra mile? Right? In the end, I'm also busy going through and I'm busy figuring out what is my extra mile? How far am I willing to go? Um, so it's something we all need to figure out for ourselves. We are also at lockdown day number 83 today uh, in Cape Town, South Africa. Um, just taking it day by day. Uh, we are still officially locked down, kind of, sort of, maybe, nobody's quite certain. Um, so just take it day by day. Just remember to stay safe. Remember to keep yourself, keep your family safe. Um, build build uh, the relations that we can during this time. We take the blessings that we can, um, just so we can stay together, grow together as a family, grow closer to the Lord as a family. We are at Wednesday, the 17th of June today. Um, as I said, it's a chilly, brisk morning, but it is going to be a stunning one today. It's the perfect day to get everything done that we, that I don't have time to do. Today's the perfect day to go and do all the things that I always manage to put aside. Um, today's the perfect day to just get up and go and do the things that all of us keep thinking we should do, but tend to forget. All right, so come climb up into the 17th today, into Wednesday and grab the day by the coffee beans. <laughs> so I was reading Proverbs 17 this morning and I just picked out verse number 10, Proverbs 17, 10. And it says, a reproof enters more into a wise man than a hundred stripes into a fool. Right, I'm just gonna read that again quickly. So it's Proverbs 17, 10 and it says, a, a reproof enters more into a wise man than a hundred stripes into a fool. Okay, so that talks about wisdom and foolishness again. That's the concept that we've spoken a lot about here on the squats, right? There's wisdom and there's foolishness. There's this way, there's that way. There's very little in between. Being wise or you being foolish. So what is reproof? A reproof enters more into a wise man, right? So a reproof is a correction. A reproof is a realignment. A reproof is somebody lovingly, gently, <laughs> or maybe sometimes not so gently, correcting you and correcting your path and helping you to grow as a better version of yourself all right a reproof i don't believe is meant to uh, hurt you a reproof is meant to refocus you all right so when reproof comes into our lives and when reproof comes to us how do we handle it do we handle it wisely or do we handle it foolishly all right it's like the whole easy way and hard way of thing so the, the, the easy way, that's taking it with wisdom, that's taking the reproof with wisdom, right? You take it on board, you make it part of your life. When you re receive a reproof or a correction, um, if you are wise, you take it on board, you integrate it into your life, and then you show it, 
right? But the, the second part of the verse is, than a hundred stripes into a fool, all right? So a foolish person that doesn't want to take on reproof, that doesn't want to take on correction, doesn't want to take on teaching and wisdom, all right? Uh, a reproof is, is going to enter more into a wise person than a hundred stripes will enter into a fool. Because a fool is stubborn, a fool is hard-hearted. A fool will, will not bend their will for a beating or for some stripes. Right? So when reproof comes, how do you handle it? Do you handle it wisely, wisely or do you handle it foolishly? Um, what is your, your method of dealing with it? So for me, I know that I'm sometimes hard of hearing, sometimes I am a little bit foolish. I try to be as wise as possible, but sometimes I am a little bit foolish. So every day I proactively go and get my, my stripes and my wisdom. I get my wisdom from Proverbs and I get my stripes from my squats. Um, but in, in all seriousness, the squats are just a great way to focus your mind onto the wisdom that we're busy working with. I find that as I'm squatting, I can focus and, and work with the, the proverb, the verse that I'm working with. Um, and I can see it a whole lot clearer just as I'm going. You focus very much body, mind and soul with these squats. So today is just a regular day, it's a Wednesday, so I'm going 50 warm-up plus 200 as the challenge, so there's going to be 50 warm-ups, cool, and then up to 100, back down to zero, that's my normal week, uh, weekly rhythm, my normal weekly number. So remember what I said, if you can do one squat, you can do this challenge, and so I'm challenging you today to do just the one, and if you can do more, that's your extra mile. So how far is your extra mile today? Alright, why do you go your extra mile? How far are you willing to go for your extra mile? What are you willing to do to show your extra mile? Please comment, share, like, tag, um, and share with us what is your extra mile. Right, it will be really great to have people sharing what their extra mile is, just so we can all hold each other accountable and build each other up. There is no greater feeling than reaching a new height and then turning around and helping somebody else up. So our job now, as we're squatting, as we're going, help each other up. Right, fingers are cold, toes are cold, time to squat, 50 warm-up in the challenge. One, two, three, four. Seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight. 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, Right, right, that's the warm up. Now, the challenge. So, how many squats are you doing? Go, for, go and push yourself just a little bit further into the groove, into the growth zone. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 7, 38, 39, 40, 21, 22, 23, 24, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, it's a quarter of the way, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83 days in lockdown, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 22, 3, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101. Right, that's the, that's the end point, that's the tip point. Now we drop back down. What goes up must go down. 100. 97, 96, 95, 94, 93, 92, 91, 90, 89, 88, 87, 86, 83 days in lockdown, 82. 81. 80. 79. 78. 77. 76. 75. 74. 73. 72. 71. 70. 
Let's be halfway. Forty nine. Forty eight. Forty seven. Forty six. Forty five. Forty four. Forty three. Forty two. Forty one. Forty. Forty nine. Thirty eight. Thirty seven. Thirty six. Thirty five. Thirty four. Thirty three. Thirty two. Thirty one. Thirty. Twenty nine. Twenty eight. Twenty seven. Twenty six. Twenty five. Twenty four. Twenty three. Twenty two. Twenty one. Twenty. Nineteen. Eighteen. Seventeen. Sixteen. Fifteen. Fourteen. Thirteen. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Extra wide. That feels incredible. Ooh, how much burn is that? So, one of the tricks I've started discovering recently, is I don't you feel it yet. I mostly squat and I use the front, uh, the front part of my quadricep muscles. I'm pulling the front part. Only recently, as I'm doing my long term squatting, <laughs> have I discovered properly muscles, not just at the back, but also at the sides, that then link up here into your butt. And so I started finding, as I'm squatting on the way up, I'm going to start pushing with the, the outside muscles inwards. And that just gives an incredible boost and gives nice longevity to the squats because it takes a lot of strain off of the, off of just the front muscles. So it balances out the, the strain of the squat throughout your entire leg structure. So good form is obviously important when you're squatting. Make sure that as you're squatting, you're going A, nice and slow, so you're not bouncing, and then B, you're pushing with all of your leg muscles instead of just pulling with the front, all right? So very well done for today. How do you handle reproof? Remember Proverbs 17.10 says, a reproof enters more into a wise man than a hundred stripes into a fool. You can beat a fool a hundred times and he will not hear a message. Right? But you reprove, you teach, you discipline a wise man and he will hear you, he will take on board what you are saying. So you get the choice to be wise, to be foolish. Right? You choose which way you go. So very well done for your squads today. Very proud of everybody. Have an excellent day. Stay safe, stay sane, stay sensible. And stay squatting. See you tomorrow for more. Enjoy.